Hi, my name is Ross Astudley, World Leader Pressure Point Fighting, National Boxing Coach for the whole of Cambodia, Martial Arts Hall of Fame, Combat Hall of Fame, and a whole host of other stuff. Anyway, let's get on with today's lesson. Hello. Now, the other week, we put up a video about how to knock out anyone. A lot of people seem to like it. A couple of people pointed out a couple of things, and they were absolutely right, because, let me explain. When doing that big old knockout punch, if when you punch you keep all your chins up and your shoulder down, yes, you're very much open to the check hook and you will probably get caught with it. Like this, have a look. See what I mean? The things I go through just for you guys. You know, you know how many times I had to get hit in the chops there? Filmed that about 12 times, so we got one that looked pretty nice, and I got it every single time. I don't normally leave all my chins up, I normally leave them all down. Let me explain on this backhand, right? The rear hand as it comes through. If your chins are down, and your, when I say your shoulders up, I don't mean you're doing all this. I mean that whenever you do your boxing, you should have your chins down, and you should have your shoulders slightly raised because that helps to protect the lower half of your jaw, your head. When you throw that backhand, you're not here with it. Chin up, shoulders down. Because yeah, you're very much open for the check hook. And if your other guy's any good, you're gonna get check hooked, aren't you? So you should really have your chins down and your shoulder turned over and higher up so that on impact if you like you're here and your ch I'll ignore this hand and your chins are down so that when this comes through bang here look how much more protected you are compared to this one which I still see even some good pros are seeing with the chins up what's the coaches doing Get your chins down, get your shoulders up. So when this, when you're practicing now this knockout and you turn your head off, you step off and you get all of that rotational torque going, which is coming from the hips, the waist, the shoulders, and the weapon is the last thing that lands. Then you've got to start to think about your defense, which you should be anyway. But you've got to work your way in, obviously. You've got to work your way towards the big, big smashing punch, whatever. And you've got to make sure that you have your chins down and your shoulder up. So do it nice and steady, first of all. Get your distance right. Make sure you've worked your way in. However you do it, whatever stance you use, whatever style you are, it doesn't matter. Make sure you work your way in head off line, foot off line, and you're gonna sink your weight because that downward trajectory is what helps get the knockout. Turn, sink your weight, and make sure that your chins are down and your shoulders up so that you can then follow up safely. Because you might miss and you might not knock them out, eh? So practice it slow and steady to start with. Make sure you're working your way in. Turn off. And you'll see there, chins are down, shoulders up. And that doesn't matter whether it's a fairly straightish one, but still with the downward trajectory, or if it's like a bolo punch, same sort of thing. You still got that protection, which helps keep you safe from that check hook. So the people who said check, oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. If your chins are up, it doesn't matter what punch you throw, any punch you throw, you're open for something, aren't you? Anything, doesn't matter what it is. So your job, your coach's job, is to make sure that you keep yourself as safe as possible when you're throwing your punches, as defended as possible. And one of those things is Chins down, shoulder raised as you turn this punch over and drop it down for the knockout. 
Anyway, have a go with it. Let us know how you get on. I guarantee you, it works. Hey, and don't start saying things like, I tried it once and it didn't work, therefore it doesn't work, because that's cobblers and you know it is. Especially if you've been doing it a different way for 10 or 15 years. You've got to take the time to learn it, train it and drill it before you can apply it. Got it? So don't want to hear any of that stuff. Tried it once. Yeah. Martial artists do that all the time. I tried that once. It didn't work. Therefore, it don't work. Cobblers. You've got to train it. See you later. If you like what I teach and you like my style of teaching, why not hit the like, share, subscribe, and even make a comment if you want. I'll try and answer them. And if you want a load more lessons, dip on down to my site, sign up for free, and it opens up all the unlisted ones on the old YouTube. I'll see you down there.